Hello and welcome to the Octane High Tech Awards in Orange County, California. I'm Jane King and with me is Mark McConaughey, the CEO of Iatrix Air. Iatrix Air is a biosafety startup creating early warning products and services to detect, destroy and inform against airborne pathogens 24-7, 365. And Mark, welcome. Great to have you here. Um, let's just start with how bad is our air? Do we even want to know? <laughs> Well, actually, outdoor air quality has improved a lot over the last 20 or 30 years. However, indoor air quality has really not been measured uh, for in your home or your business. So we, uh, you know, we think we should start to do that now uh, with this uh, wake-up call called COVID. And uh, so it's interesting that uh, with air purification and, and also mm -hmm. disinfection and the airflow, we need to pay more attention to it mm -hmm. because of, of COVID. And it's a thousand year old problem. Uh, we've not solved, you know, the tubercul tuberculosis, measles, the flu, and basically uh, it's a real wake up call to all of us. And, but finally, during this period of COVID, the scientists and the experts kind of agree that, that it lingers in the air and goes further than they originally Very thought. Now we have a target of maybe how to solve this problem. Okay, and you are part of that solution. I understand your engineers at Iatrix have come up with this accurate data-driven product. So can you explain that? Sure. Uh, it, we think there's, there's three key parts. One is you need to know the air, detect what's in the air in real time. Mm -hmm. And then also we, we, you need to be able to remediate the air very, very quickly and inform everybody, you know, the condition of the air, all in real time, so it, or near real time. So we need to have an attitude about air quality that's mission critical. Mm -hmm. So this is our air sensor uh, gateway. It runs, it captures data, air quality data, every 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's what we mean by near real time. Mm -hmm. And it processes it and sends it to the cloud for more analytics. Mm -hmm. And then that will create the alerts to your cell phone or to your to your web app, uh, and then also this is the air exchanger. Okay. So it works in conjunction with the uh, sensor gateway. There's a medical grade HEPA filter, mm -hmm. much like what you have in a hospital. So there's a carbon filter that reduces odors. There's a medical grade HEPA filter. This is a, a HEPA 13 medical grade. It was actually developed by the US government during World War II and used in hospitals. So these, these basically catch, you know, all the particles and including like a COVID. Mm -hmm. And then the air comes into this light chamber. And my background is photonics. I've been messing around with light for years. Uh, and we have micro optics in here that intensify the UVC light. So we use UVC light, but it's enclosed. UVC light's very dangerous to your skin and eyes but we, we keep it enclosed, so it's safe. But UVC has been proven for 80 years to disinfect or remediate or destroy, really, mm -hmm. viruses, bacteria, and mold. 25,000 milliwatt per centimeter square is the amount of UVC energy you must apply, and you can destroy all the viruses. It's proven. Bacteria is 100,000, and mold and fungus is really the most difficult at 400,000. We have 1.2 million milliwatts of UVC light in here. The physics of this product is we're moving air really fast. We only have 0.2 seconds to destroy. And that's what we proved in our proof of concept. So we, we do detection and then we prevent through filtration and very high levels of UVC. And we do it in first pass. A lot of devices, you have to pass the air through it many, many times for 30 minutes to two hours. Well, then you're sick with COVID before mm -hmm. things, you know, before you're, it can really mm -hmm. be effective. So that's the way we've designed this uh, solution. And it's totally automated and add, it has uh, machine learning and algorithms and it becomes very predictive. Yeah. So it can automatically uh, know what to be doing. You don't have to do anything about it. So in a business, our business model is we either sell the device and they install it and run it or we actually do it on a subscription model. And uh, so we, uh, we will take care of everything, replacing the filters and our market starts in these commercial and public restrooms to prove the solution. What is uh, your growth strategy at Iatrix? 
well, 25 million restrooms is that's a large number. Yeah. We're going to be busy quite some time. In fact, we're focused on commercial and public rest restrooms. Oh. There's 25 million in the U.S. And this is designed to be uh, vandal proof. So you can see that stainless steel, it can sits up on the wall and it's going to be, you can take a hammer to it. What is uh, your growth strategy at IATRIX? Well, 25 million restrooms is, that's a large number. Yeah. We're going to be busy quite some time. Uh, and, and if we go international with that strategy, that's well over 100 million uh, sites so around the world. That's enough to keep us busy. That's mm -hmm. a hundred billion dollar market for us yeah. if it goes international. But also we're looking at high school, college, mm -hmm. and major league sports locker rooms. And because they're associated with restrooms or so that's another target for us. I think when we achieve this first uh, you know, it takes time to build a business mm -hmm. and and we want to go step by step. But beyond that, you can think restaurants, you know, and classrooms mm -hmm. and all and there's 30 million small businesses so we think it's a very large market a lot to do we can create a first level of defense and that's what we've tried to do here well thank you so much mark best thank of luck you, as you build this business great to hear about it